In League of Legends, the Mastery Trees are being reworked for Season 3. On today's episode of Long Math, we'll be taking a look at exactly how the defensive Mastery Tree will be changed from Season 2, and how it can affect certain champions and items. Let's take a look at just how different the defensive Mastery Tree is. Summoner's Resolve no longer grants a bonus to the Summoner spells Revive and Garrison. It will now grant a champion with Heal an extra 5 maximum health multiplied by the champion's level as opposed to increasing the health restored by 10% in Season 2. It will also cause Barrier to shield for an extra 20 damage, as opposed to reducing the cooldown by 20 seconds in Season 2. The bonuses to Smite and Cleanse remain unchanged. The Vigor Mastery has been remade into Perseverance. It no longer requires 4 points in the Defensive Mastery tree. Perseverance grants 2 health regeneration times the amount of points in the Mastery, based on how much health the champion is missing. It has not been confirmed in testing exactly how the formula for this Mastery works, but we do know it will be more effective when the champion has less health. Durability no longer requires 4 points for the defensive mastery tree. It is unchanged otherwise. The tough skin mastery remains unchanged. The following masteries require 4 points in the defensive tree. Hardiness no longer has a 0 point requirement and grants less armor at maximum rank. Assuming at least 1 point in the mastery, it will grant armor equal to 0 0.5 plus 1.5 times the amount of points in the mastery. This means the hardiness mastery will be less point efficient once more than 1 point has been invested in it since it grants 2 armor at rank 1 and 1.5 armor for each rank after it. The Resistance Mastery also no longer has a 0 point requirement. Assuming at least 1 point in the Mastery, it will grant Magic Resistance equal to 0 0.5 plus 1.5 times the amount of points in the Mastery. Bladed Armor now only requires 4 points in the Defensive Tree, but still requires 2 points in Tough Skin. It remains unchanged otherwise. The following Masteries require 8 points in the Defensive Tree. The Indomitable Mastery has been renamed to Unyielding, but still has all the same effects from Season 2. Relentless is a new Mastery which reduces the effects of incoming slows by 7.5% times the amount of points in the Mastery. It does not affect the duration of slows. Veteran Scars is unchanged from Season 2. Safeguard is a new Mastery which reduces all turret damage by 5%. Since turrets deal additional damage with each hit to the same target, this mastery will become more effective with each additional hit. The following masteries require 12 points in the defensive tree. Block is a new mastery which reduces damage from champion auto attacks by 3. This could be useful on champions with taunts such as Shen, Ramus, and Galio. Tenacious is a new mastery which grants 5% tenacity multiplied by the amount of points in the mastery. The bonus will stack multiplicatively with other sources of tenacity. Juggernaut has been remade and no longer requires 20 points in the defensive tree. Assuming at least 1 point in the mastery, it will increase a champion's health by 0.25% plus 1.25% times the amount of points in the mastery. This mastery could be very useful on Vladimir and a champion purchasing the Atmos Impaler. Just like Hardiness and Resistance, this mastery becomes less point effective when more than 1 point is invested in it. The following masteries require 16 points in the defensive tree. Defender is a new mastery, which grants a champion 1 armor and magic resistance, multiplied by each enemy champion within range. The range required for the bonus has not yet been confirmed, but is most likely 700 or 1100, due to the fact that all offensive item auras are now 700 range, and all defensive item auras are 1100 range. Legendary Armor is a new mastery, which increases all armor and magic resistance by 1.25%, multiplied by the amount of points in the mastery. This mastery can synergize quite well with Ramus, Galio, and a champion purchasing the Randuin's Omen. Good Hands no longer has a zero point requirement, but will reduce time spent dead by 10% with one point invested, as opposed to three points invested in Season 2. Reinforced Armor is a new mastery that reduces damage taken by critical strikes by 5% multiplied by the amount of points in the mastery. This could be useful against a team with Ash, Tryndamere, Pantheon, or Shaco. Finally, Honor Guard has been remade and requires 20 points in the defensive tree. It reduces all damage taken by 3%, as opposed to reducing damage damage by 0.5% times the amount of points in the mastery in Season 2. Overall, the defensive mastery tree seems much stronger for a champion who invests many points in it. Keep in mind that the Evasion, Siege Commander, Initiator, Enlightenment, and Mercenary masteries have been removed from the tree. Evasion being removed is not major, as Evasion reduced all area of effect damage by 3% with 3 points invested, while Honor Guard will reduce any damage by 3% with 1 point invested. Mercenary's benefits were very minor, but the removal of Siege Commander will make destroying towers more difficult. The removal of Initiator will make some champions defeat jungle monsters at a slower speed, assuming they were above 70% health. Finally, the removal of Enlightenment will make defensive champions unable to cast their spells as frequently as before, due to the lack of cooldown reduction per level. Next episode, we'll be covering the Utility Mastery Tree. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Law Math episode. You can also like Law Math on Facebook at facebook.com slash lawmath YouTube, and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash trampoline tales. Thanks for watching this episode of Lawmath.